Forget endless scrolling. Here's how ChatGPT's deep research can find hundreds of t-shirt niches and trending designs for you automatically. Now you may be asking, what is deep research? Well, the deep research function is built right into ChatGPT. Now this is from the official website of ChatGPT. Well, here it says ChatGPT can browse the web extensively for you, compile these insights from hundreds of sources, and then creates comprehensive reports with them. And then they also state how to use this. So it's actually really simple to use. You just select deep research in ChatGPT. Then you assign a research task. That means you're just giving it a prompt and then it's working and then you receive your report. So they say that the research task will typically take five to 30 minutes. We will see how that goes. And if you get the ChatGPT app installed, you also get a notification. So that's quite handy. You can download or share this report in a PDF format or in a docx format. And then you will get some examples right here. But at this point, let's just jump right in. So let's start with the niche research. So here I have this detailed prompt for the niche research for Merch by Amazon. Now what's really important is that we click on this plus right here and then we choose deep research. So let's click that and then you can see it in blue right here, research with this microphone. I think it's a microphone icon and let's first press enter so you can see the prompt in a hole. Okay. I think you can see this prompt. Now here's a quick tip. If you want to use this prompt, just make a partial screenshot of it and upload it to ChatGPT. At the end of this video, I'll show you the exact steps on how to get prompts like this. So stay tuned, it's actually very simple. Now let's first talk about this prompt. So here we got a quick introduction. It says, you're a professional niche researcher for Amazon Merch on Demand sellers. I want you to use the deep research function to find niche ideas that can be turned into t-shirt designs. And then it's broken down into nine steps. So the first step is ask me for a broad niche, for example, baking, fishing, hiking, fitness, etc. And yeah, of course, these are very, very broad niches. So we start with that. And step number two is research at least 20 relevant sub niches of that broad niche. Step three, we go down even further. For each of these sub niches, find at least five smaller, more specific sub niches. So around 200 total niches. So these steps are basically the whole task but we need to specify these tasks in these next steps right here. Step number four, every sub niche and sub sub niche must consist of a maximum of two words. For example, bread baking or sourdough baking, because in my tests and in my experience, if we don't limit these niches to two words, then ChatGPT will just give us results that we really can't use. Step five, make sure every niche is something that could be represented visually or with a phrase on a t-shirt. Step six, do not include any topics related to copyrighted or trademark material, like no movie names, brands, sports teams, etc. Step number seven, we define the formatting. Step number eight is also quite important. Only use niches that people are passionate about, that have communities or hobbies behind them. And then we get the last step, step number nine. After showing me the list, briefly explain which of these sub niches have strong potential for t-shirts and why. So we already pressed enter and it gave us this prompt right here. Now it says, sure, to get started, could you please tell me the broad niche you'd like me to explore? For example, baking, fishing, hiking, fitness, etc. So we're just gonna enter the broad niche right here. Let's enter cooking, press enter. And here we go, it starts with the task and it gives us a brief description of what it does. And you can see the progress bar right here, it's starting research. Now what's cool about this research is the fact that you don't need to stay on this tab right now, you can work on some other things. Once it's done, you get a notification and you can take a look at the results. All right, here we go. Now it says waiting and it opened this tab right here on the right. Now I don't want to wait for the results, so I prepared something. All right, this is the chat from earlier on. I also defined the niche cooking. And as we scroll right here, the research is complete. You can see a summary of the research right here. Research completed in 21 minutes. It used 12 sources and 88 searches. And here we go. We got 200 niche ideas for cooking t-shirts. Big niche would be cooking. The niche inside of that would be baking. And the sub niche of that, bread baking. Now, of course, if you want to go even deeper, you can take this niche right here, bread baking, and just feed it into a prompt. But now let's take a look at the results. Grilling, barbecue, vegan cooking. Outdoor cooking, slow cooking, fermentation, chocolate making, home brewing, and so on and so on. Then we got the explanation right here. And you always get the source right here on this text, which is quite handy. And let's see what we also get here. Yeah, the source is right here. When we click on this button, you get the sources right here on the right. So if you want, you can continue the research with these sources. Now let's close that again and go up again right here to the top. 
Now what's cool about the deep research function is the fact that you get this report. So let's click this button right here. You can either share this report right here on this link, or we can download it on this button right here. Let's just download it. And then you can download this report as a PDF or a Microsoft Word document. So let's just download this Microsoft Word document and boom, here we go. Now we get the whole list and the whole results in a really nice formatting. You got the explanation right here and at the bottom you get a really nice list of these sources right here. I really like this output. Now you would typically just select this niche, put it into amazon.com together with the keyword t-shirt and then check the competition. Simply said, that's how you do evergreen niche research. Or let's say I do it like this and it works great for me. So here we are in our first ChatGPT tab again and as you can see it's still working. You got the progress bar right here, but on the right you can actually see what it's working on right now. Now let me show you another earlier chat. So of course we got the same prompt, but this time I wanted to niche fitness. And it took 23 minutes, used 8 sources and 63 searches. So you got the list again. And by the way, if you want to use it, just pause the video and go ahead. So we got the list right here and at the bottom we got the explanation. Yeah, why these niches have strong t-shirt potential. And of course, if you don't want this explanation, you can just leave out step nine. And then we get the sources. Yeah, sources right here. Now, if you want to research the next niches, you can just type in now do it for fishing, for example. And here we go. You got the fishing sub niches and micro niches. You got a whole list right here. And let's scroll down and it even asked you to extend this list and then you can say yes, extend this list and then it goes on and on and on as you can see. So with this prompt alone, you don't run out of niche ideas and we get the explanation again. Next, I got this prompt for trend research. And again, if you want to use this prompt, just make a screenshot and put it into ChatGPT. So I basically wanted to find current trending topics, challenges, aesthetics, or themes that are popular right now on platforms like TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I want 20 current trends, no copyrighted or trademarked material, of course. Then we got some more specifications. We got something for the format and this explanation text. If you don't want that, you can just delete this part right here, of course. So then it wants some more information. It asks us if we want to focus primarily on the US market, if we want a certain demographic, and if we want to target any specific niche categories. And then I kept it very general. Then it took this research. It took 15 minutes, 28 sources, and 136 searches. So good luck doing this manually, especially in 15 minutes. So we got some trends right here, quite luxury. I never heard about that. Then we got dopamine dressing. Okay, maximalism, never heard of that either. Then we got cottage core. I actually got some t-shirts in that niche. Then we got goblin core, which is quite similar. Dark academia, Y2K nostalgia, coastal grandmother aesthetic. Okay, never heard of that. Soft life. Anti-hustle culture, quite quitting. We don't do that stuff right here. Van life, tiny homes, thrifting, upcycling, pickleball. Okay, that's not a secret anymore. And so on and so on. You get the idea. So if you want to follow some trends, this is very interesting. And then we get the summary right here. And the sources, yeah. Yep, I get a notification for our other chat right here. And as I said, if you got the app on your smartphone, you also get the notification there. So let's jump to the prompt again. So of course you can use flying research to research trends. And that's what 95% of the people do. So if you want to think out of the box, then this is the perfect method to do it. Now let's try this with the design research. So here I got this prompt for specifically design ideas. So how would this design actually look like? So this is specifically for the aesthetic of a design. Now with this prompt, we want 20 design styles or aesthetics, and we don't even focus on Amazon alone. So we also got Etsy and Redbubble. We got the requirements and the formatting, and we want some more info right here. So when you put in this prompt, it will ask you for some more information. And once we give it this information, it will start the research. Now this research only took 13 minutes. So we got 20 trending t-shirt design styles. The first style would be bold and decorative typography. We get description, why it's trending and examples. And what's also really important is the fact that you get this source right here. So when you click it, you get these examples. Then we got the Y2K aesthetic, kitsch, 90s nostalgia, okay. Vaporwave and synthwave, 70s groovy aesthetic, 
Vintage Grunge, and so on and so on. Yeah, and at the bottom you get an explanation. Now for this design research, of course, it's very important to be visual. So I would never miss to click on these sources right here and take a look at these design ideas. So you get the whole list right here of these sources. Now let's choose this one. Yeah, here we go. Geography designs, book themed designs, and so on. Tarot cards. Yeah, these are quite popular and so on and so on. Now let's scroll up again and let me show you how to easily get a prompt like this. So here we go. This is the prompt for the prompts that I used. Well, so basically I just explained ChatGPT what I want. So basically for this video that you're watching right now, I wanted to show you the deep research function of ChatGPT and I needed prompts. So I wanted a prompt to find niches, to research trends and to research designs. And then I just described in a very simple way what I wanted. And then it just gave me these three prompts right here. This one is to find niches. This one is to research trends. And we get the design styles right here. So I used this one right away, the design styles, the trends. But I edited this first one. But I first tested it and it gave me some weird niches. So I said that it has to give me niches that are at maximum two words long. And there you go. That's the secret of deep research for Amazon Merch. If you are in a higher tier and feel stuck on Amazon Merch, then check out this video about my brand new free webinar.